Hi, and welcome to the birthday gift. So I'm going to do a love message today. If you're new, welcome. Um, so I'm doing a different spread. I'm trying this to see if it'll give a lighter message. Uh, the other messages were a little heavy. And I'm um, just trying to give some advice on love. So let's see what comes up for you today, okay? All right, so... Okay, so this message is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And since I can be picking up on the energy of the person you're dealing with, feel free to reverse the roles if you're cross-watching, okay? All right. Oop. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this is the true you. You are the page of pentacles, so you're at you're starting something to get your life in order. Basically, this is the true them. Three of Wands. Okay. I see them uh being optimistic about something. Let me let me keep pulling, okay? So the third card is how they see you. Hmm. They see you as uh needing them. They see you as a uh, nothing without them. Let me let me pull more. Okay, and this is how you see them. Three of Pentacles. Okay, I don't know if they are dealing with other people. Here is this is. Like someone who's involved with other things, other people. Let me clarify this. This three of pentacles, how you see them. Five of swords. What are these? Seven of pentacles and magician. I think that they had a lot of power over you um, as far as the things that you brought into fruition. This is almost like this is someone who you were in a relationship with and you depended on, on them a lot. Because this Three of Pentacles is just saying this is someone you needed to work with in order to get what you wanted. And with the Five of Swords here, there's some kind of fear and letting go and I think they know that they know that you depend on them there's some kind of codependency or dependency because for you to see them as the magician and the seven of pentacles is just saying that this is someone who you invested a lot into and it's almost like everything that you invested or everything that comes into fruition rather, is um, attached to this person. But to see you as a page of pentacles lets me know that you have some kind of spark to start things on your own here. Gemini. Hmm. This person could have had a lot of control over you, but they, they're looking outwards. Let me see what else comes up here. So the fifth card is going to be the relationship past. The next three cards will be the relationship past, the relationship present, and the relationship future. Mm. Okay, conflict. This is the third five that come came out. We have the five of pentacles here, five of swords, and now the five of wands. So there's been some conflict in this relationship. That's the past, though. Mm. Let's see present four swords so the two of you may be in separation future not a cups okay i see someone offering love emotional support here okay and this is how to proceed page of swords pay attention to the details because <clears throat> there's 
I see this person coming back to offer to you. They're saying to pay attention to the details because I, I think this person likes the fact that you need them. Because that gives them their power. They're coming up as a magician. Um, them have them looking. It's is they're waiting on some. Almost like they're waiting on you to come crawling back. Is what it feels like. Because it's almost like they're waiting for some. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is is someone who you depended on financially. Four of your pentacles. You came up as a page of pentacles, which means it's time for you to start depending on yourself. Creating your own foundation. Not as it relates to someone else, Gemini. Because I see conflict here. And it feels like you're in separation with this four of swords. But the, this person comes back offering a cup. They're saying to pay attention to the details with this page of swords here. Because they know that you need them. Or that you depend on them. That's what... They know that. You see them as someone who you need. Pay attention to the red flags. Look. It came out again. Well, I mean, this page of swords is telling me pay attention to the details. But then this flew out just now. So there's something here that you need to pay attention to. It says the signs are cautioning you. Almost like they've already given you signs. Pay attention. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do the extended. I'm doing on the extended. I do the Celtic cross. That way I can pull more information without having to use so much energy to pull it. So... If this resonated with you, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to see what are these red flags I'm wanting you to pay attention to, okay? All right, Gemini, I hope this was helpful. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. So the third card is what crowns you. This is the best outcome you can come to. It is the emperor. It is you being in control of your life. That's where this experience is trying to take you.